Okay, hi and welcome to our video on algebra and we're going to look at expressions, equations and like terms in this video. So if we just have a look at our learning intentions for this video, by the end of the video we should be able to distinguish between an expression and an equation in algebra. We want to be able to describe what a term is in algebra and we should be able to identify like terms <coughs> excuse me, in a sequence of terms. Okay, so an expression is an algebraic statement consisting of numbers, variables, and operation signs. So basically, whenever we see anything in algebra where we see numbers and letters all joined together um, with plus and minus signs in between them, that is an expression, or even a division, a division sign. That is an expression. Okay, an equation is the same thing. It's an algebraic statement. But this one contains an equal sign. So that's the main difference. So we can see the two examples here. We can see, we can see this one here. 3a minus 2b plus ab minus 7. That is an expression. It doesn't have an equal sign. But it's got a whole lot of these algebraic uh, numbers and letters. And we're going to, these are actually called terms. And we'll cover that in the next, um, next screen. But a whole lot of these terms together. Here we have an equation where this variable, or the unknown, uh, 3x plus 8 equals 1, we can actually then solve that. So that's the difference between, between the two. Okay, so what is a term? Well, a term is defined as either a single number or variable, or numbers and variables multiplied together, including the signs. Now this is really important, including the signs. So those signs, the plus and the minuses, belong to the, the, um, the terms themselves. So if we have a look at some terms, if we want to look at some terms, what they might be, um, you know, a term might be 3a. A term might be 4x. Another term might be 3. A number itself is a term as well. Another term might be minus 3a squared. They're all examples here. They're all examples of terms. And when we put them together, we get this expression. Now let's have a look at how we can actually identify the terms in an expression. So if we have a look here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle the terms. We've got mine, we've got 3a, then we're going to have minus 2b. So we're actually going to, we're actually going to add that minus sign with the 2b, so anything in front of um, a term. We've got the plus ab there, and we've also got minus 7. So the four terms in there are 3a minus 2b plus ab, or just ab, and minus 7. Now this minus 7 has a special name in an expression. It's called a constant term. And it's constant because it doesn't have any it doesn't have any letters or variables connected to it. So it's it does it won't change. That number itself won't change. Alright. Well then what's a like term? Well like terms are basically terms with exactly the same variable form. So what they what they are is they have the same combination of letters in them, or pronumerals, or variables if you want to call them that, um, and they have to be raised to the exact same power. So if you imagine, um, we've got some examples here you can see on the screen. Um, when we're actually looking for like terms, we're looking first at the combination of variables, or the, the, the pronumerals, or the letters, and then we want to make sure that they've got the same powers as well. So let's have a look at our example. Which of these are actually like terms? And we'll go through it. Okay, so we've got 3x and 5x. Well, we have a look at letters. They've both got x's. Yes, are they raised to the same power? Yes, these are like terms. We've got in the second one here, we've got 2y and 3y squared. Well, we've got two y's, but what do we notice here? It's raised to the power of 2. So this is actually, they're not like terms. Okay, just here we've got 7 and 4. Are they like terms? Yes, they are, because they're just the constant terms. Down here, 
we've got 6AB and 5BA. Now, let's have a look at the, first of all, we're going to have a look at the, um, the letters. We've got A and B in this term, and we've got B and A. So we've actually got the same letter combination. doesn't matter what order they're in. Um, so these ones here, yes, these ones are um, like terms. Now, 4x squared y, and we've got minus 2x squared y. So let's have a look. We've got x raised to the power of 2 on one side, and we've got x raised to the power of 2 here. So that's the same, and we've got y and a y. So these ones are like terms. Now, in our last one, we've got 2p squared q and 6pq squared. Now, we've got 2, we've got a p. Yeah, there's a p on both sides. But the p's on this side is raised to the power of 2, where on this side it's not. So it can't be a like term. So that one isn't a like term. The thing with like terms, what we're actually going to do, if they are the same, we can actually bunch them together. We can actually combine them, or what we call collecting like terms, which we'll cover in another video. Okay, thank you for watching that. Hopefully you got something out of that, and we'll see you next time.